All right, say you guys are uh, playing with uh, panel cam uh, scans. Uh, panel cam scan usually kind of looks like this when you look at it from the perspective of the camera uh, or the scanner. Doesn't look that amazing. There's a lot of parallax. And this that's just normal because it is obviously not a coaxial camera. Um, since seeing version 2022.2 two or dot one, I'm not exactly sure how far back, there's been an option where if you have a scan that was um, colorized with the panel cam, you can actually right click it, can go into operations and you can create the panoramic, uh, create the panel cam scan. Uh, what that does is it creates a duplicate uh, scan data set, which is still from the same origin position where you had the actual scanner, just like here, but uh, let's look at it. If you look at it in 3D view or quick view, you can see that the imagery is much, much, much nicer. And that's just because um, instead of colorizing a scan, it is actually inputting the scan data on top of the pictures rather than creating the picture on top of the actual scan. So it's just changing the origin where the data is being visualized. So it looks like a much nicer data set is utilizing the actual imagery from the camera rather than uh, reverse engineering the imagery by colorizing the actual point cloud that's here. So needless to say, scan number two and scan number two are exactly the same. I did three scans to test here. But what I wanted to show you is uh, right here in this uh, non-process data set, what you can do is you can mark sphere. You can actually mark a sphere and it'll find the sphere for you and We'll find the sphere over here, and that one's really far away, so that's not going to work. But uh, that's okay. So it marks it. Whereas in this data set, when you do the same thing, then it just fails. And this failing can be seen as a failure of the software, which uh, might might be a slightly uh, a bug, a little bit of a bug. But I mean, you can even with this error, you can actually override it because you can go into selection in the screen that you want to identify the sphere with, uh, hit your little circle tool, selection tool, make it small so that it's, you know, around the size of the actual screen. Highlight it, right click the selected, um, uh, what is it, highlighted area, and then create sphere radius. And when you do this, you see it actually overrides it and finds it 177 points. We'll do the same thing here. So once again, Come on, make it a little bit smaller. And mind you, again, this is there is parallax in these pictures. It's not visible, but it is. So the sphere is actually off. The so I'm highlighting a little bit of a bigger area. But if you do sphere radius, notice the sphere will identify. Now over here, this is just not going to work. Obviously, this is too far. But uh, we can try. So let's try this and let's see if we can create sphere radius. Wow, it actually worked with 20 points. So it, it you can override this. So this algorithm, when it's failing, and this is a practice that you can actually do on uh, any scan. If in a certain scan, your mark sphere algorithm doesn't seem to be pulling out a sphere that you can clearly see, what you can do, you can override it by uh, hitting selection, hitting your little, uh, what is it, selection, circular selection tool and do this. This can be done, by the way, this can be done. So let me do this. Um, let me do it in planar view too. So it, regardless if it's in quick view or planar view, you can do it in either one of these views. This is where parallax was really horrible. But again, you'll notice that sphere, mark sphere algorithm doesn't work. But if I do this, you'll see that when we create the sphere, it actually creates the sphere. So you can see that that's, that's working in both views with um, horrible shadowing over here on this version of the data. But uh, regardless, it's just showing you that the imagery, if you're after imagery, then you can make it look a little bit better and still not sacrifice identifying the actual targets. Uh, if you have any questions or comments, leave them below.